Good morning. This is John from the Springs Mennonite Church. And I'm here today, second day of the week, to talk to you again about what do you do in times of trouble? Now, let's face it. We all have troubles. Some of us have big troubles. Some of us have little troubles. But you just don't get through life with everything working the way you want it to. Maybe if, even if that could happen, maybe that wouldn't be such a good thing either because so many times disappointments allow us to learn. They give us opportunities to rethink. And maybe, just maybe, our lives are better because of the troubles. But let's take a moment here and look at John chapter 16 and verse 33. Jesus gives us some suggestions here. I have told you all this. And he's talking about that he's coming back and that things are going to change and whatnot. I've told you this so that you may have peace in me. Here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. But take heart, because I have overcome the world. Jesus is saying, you need to have peace. We need to have peace in the presence of the Lord. Now, what does peace mean? Well, it means a lot of things, but at least it means the absence of fear and worry. Now, I know I'm speaking to a lot of people who have done a lot of worrying and had a lot of fear. Some of you are, are so overcome by it at the moment, you don't even know what to do. And I grant you, there are those times in life <clears throat> when it looks like there'll never be an end to this and there's no way out. That's true. I wish... I could tell you otherwise. I wish I had a magic pill or a magic formula so you wouldn't have to experience that. But I don't. And the reason I don't is because we live in a sinful world. And in sinful worlds, bad things happen. And they happen to all kinds of people. The roughnecks and the rascals and the despicables and the godly and the saintly and the, the just incredibly wonderful. So the question isn't, how do I avoid all of these bad things? The question is, what do I do when they come? So Jesus says, he wants us to have peace in him. He wants us to trust him. Trust him. Doesn't mean we have to understand it. Doesn't mean we have to make sense out of it. It just means we have to trust him. And then he goes on to say, here on earth, you will have many trials and sorrows. <laughs> what an understatement. <laughs> if you don't know that one, I don't know where you are. There's something not right in your head, as my kids would say. He says, but even though you are in this world and there will be this, but take heart. In other words, don't give up. Hang in there. Stay strong. Regardless of what's happening. I know this is hard to do. I've been there. And I'll probably be there again before I pass out of this world. But have heart. Remember the peace that Jesus gives. Rest in his presence. Rest in his arms. He says, because I have overcome the world. Now, what does he mean by that? 
Does he mean that he's going to change the world, the physical world that we know? Well, might be. <clears throat> I've seen some miraculous healings. I've seen some miraculous, what do we call it? Receiving of things that were nearly impossible. There was a time in my life when I knew I had to go to school and finish seminary, but I didn't have any money to pay for it. And somehow, and to be honest with you, I don't even remember. Somehow, God sent the money for that to happen. There have been all kinds of times in my life when I saw no way forward. But yet, God made a way. But there have also been times when it didn't seem to happen. And even in those moments, we can still rest. Because while I don't see it at the moment, doesn't mean I won't see it later. Jesus is trying to tell us that when life is tough, we're not alone. You don't have to figure it out by yourself. You don't have to get through it on your own strength, which may be high and it might be really, really low. You don't have to somehow withstand the storm all by yourself. You're not the only one holding the door shut. God is there with you. I know sometimes he's hard to see, but he's always there if we just reach out to him and look for him. So you think about that today. I hope you have a really great day. If you had a need or a concern, let us know. We'll do whatever we can, as fast as we can, to help meet your need. Thank you for listening. I'll be back tomorrow, and I'll share another thought from what do you do when things are difficult? God bless you.